इस मॉडल पर एक्सपेंड लाइफ के लिए स्पीड Smoky Mountain will just send you a catalog for free. That is dope. I cannot wait to look at this. This might as well be a freaking hustler magazine. Okay. I got this in the mail. I don't know what it is. Normally I know <laughs> when I get mail, I'm expecting it. But this, I honestly have no clue. I've got some stuff that I'm waiting on, but this is not, I mean, I don't, I'm not waiting on any knives that I know of. So I'm really confused as to what this could be. eBay. Okay. Lantac Knives. What the heck is this, dude? What did I buy? I am so confused, dude. I don't even know what this is, man. Oh, oh my god! Benjamin Frank! Buddy! Woohoo! How can I forget, dude? Oh my god, man. I need to go to the doctor. <laughs> I need to go to the doctor. This is, like, amazing. I totally forgot. Wow, that's awkward. Oh my god. I just got so freaking excited, dude. <sighs> oh man. This is this is a big one, dude. Even though full disclosure, this is not mine. Okay? I won this on eBay. I was not able to pay for it. So I have a buddy I said, dude, if you want it, you can buy it. He said, hell yeah, I want it. Do you know what it is? Oh my god, dude. This is so dope, dude. I had totally forgot. So I bought it, and he paid me for it. So, so he bought it. He bought it. I'm just the middleman. And, uh... He's actually on a work work trip. He's gonna be so happy, dude. He's on. He's out of town for work. So um, I actually uh, he had bought this from me, and uh, yeah, I told him I would send him both of these together. So anyway, he's out of town for a little bit. So I get to hang on to this. Until he, you know, well, until I go, go mail it out. All right. I am so freaking stoked, man. This is dope. Okay, they give you tools. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know that I would use those on my knife. I'd probably use my tools. But, you know, maybe people that spend this sort of money on a knife don't have tools. Okay, wow, dude, it's got some weight to it. All right, let's get all this out of the way. Look at that, dude. Look at that, man. That is, oh, come on. I don't have a real uh, professional setup here. Gorgeous. This is just such a beautiful knife, dude. I might have to try... I can't do that, dude. <laughs> I was going to say, I might have to try and... Uh, be like, hey, dude, you want to trade? <laughs> I'm not going to do that, though. All right, here we go. Oh, that wasn't very satisfying. I think I didn't flick it hard enough, but... In the hand, man. I mean, just... Look at the ergos on that, man. And this, this appears to be, like, rubber. It's like some sort of a rubber. Well, gosh, dude, come on now. I actually have, a, like, a nice tripod I'm using, but the problem is the, the, the phone attachment sucks. So, 
We got a button lock. It is a button lock, and wow. That is impressive, dude. That's nice. I mean, even like this, you know. And some people might have a smock and they're like, mine does it, mine does it. Well, mine doesn't. When I close my smock, and I get it, a smock is not a, a, a button lock. A smock is a compression lock with a button. If anybody doesn't know that, a smock is just a... Uh, See if I can get my light up in here. Come on. You see that? So the locking mechanism on the smock is absolutely amazing. Because look at this. That's not going anywhere. So, but anyway, I know this is not a smock video but this one that's just so buttery smooth dude dude yeah i don't know uh, i'm not that impressed with the uh the action on it like i mean it just doesn't flip out very well i don't know the the, the action on it is not that great but the the button when it when it falls, yeah, it's awesome. And you can open it like that too. Yeah, I now that let's let's first impressions. Uh, this is M three ninety. That blade does not feel that sharp. I mean, yeah, I guess it's pretty sharp. Yeah, never mind. That's a very sharp blade. Um, got a little bit of stick. Um, yeah, that's that's one thing I'm not real crazy about button locks. You know, you you gotta. You, you, I don't know if you can see, but when you're pushing on it, you have to really push, and it's got a little bit of stick. So. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I was really excited about this knife, and I'm going to have to eat my words, because a buddy of mine, he told me, he was telling me, uh, I told him what this was bought for, which was very cheap, considering the price of a hoback. If you want to buy this thing brand new... You're going to be spending about 450 bucks. So I got this thing. I put in an offer for 400 and he accepted it. So uh, this knife after tax, after shipping, probably about four, it was like 440. And he said, I wouldn't pay 440 for a, a hoe back. And I thought, I go, well, you must be freaking out of your mind. And he goes, no, I've just handled a, a hoe back, and uh, I don't think it's worth you know that much money. He's like, it's about a spider coat quality, and now that I play with one, <sighs> Matt, uh, I think you're right, dude. This is, I mean, don't get me wrong. This is definitely a nice knife. This is a great addition to anybody's collection. Uh, it's made well. It's great materials. The action is... The action out of 10, I would say it's like maybe a 6, maybe a 5. The action is not great. I'm not crazy about the action. Uh, I'm not crazy about most button locks, dude. Uh, I've got a Kaiser Cormorant that is currently... The button snapped in half on it. I'm waiting on a new button from Kaiser. Uh, the action on that is pretty good. Very fidget, Very fidgetable. Uh... Now, the smock, um, I love the smock, dude. 
I had the smock before I had the cormorant, and then I returned the smock, and then I got a cormorant, and as soon as I, re the only reason I returned the smock was because I paid for it, and I bought it locally at my local knife store, and then I saw it on Amazon, they were doing like a lightning deal or something, and I, they had it for like 175 out the door, and so I was like, damn, 175 dude, I'll return this and upgrade, uh, and then go back and just buy a smock later. Well, that lightning deal, it didn't say lightning deal. They just put the price back up to normal price after like a day. Yeah, that's what they freaking do, dude. But this knife here, the smock, the smock, I would consider like borderline budget knife. I mean, as far as what, what we buy, you know, type of crap that we buy, you know, um, uh, $200 is, you know, a pretty good price. You know, these two here, this one, it's like 360 No, I'm sorry, this is about 350 This is about 360 They both have uh, pivot collar, extra pivot collars. So, the smock is, is budget. This this right here, I mean, 550 I just could never pay 550 for this. And now that I play with it and, and, and feel it, I I could not pay four hundred dollars for this knife. Most I would pay for this knife probably three hundred dollars. I think this knife probably worth three hundred dollars, dude. Um, yeah. Um, oh, I forgot about the flipper. It's got a little flipper. That little flipper is terrible. I flicked it one time. That's just not good. <laughs> that is not a good flipper. I was thinking the flipper was going to be awesome. And it's not. It's very uncomfortable. Your finger hits this crap and it's just not pleasant. Not very pleasant. But anyway, I've got 20 seconds left. So that's all I got there. That's the Jake's uh, Hoback Sumo. It's pretty cool. But it's not worth the price. If you can get one for 300 bucks or so, go right ahead. If you can get it for 450 and you want to get one, well, that's why we live in America. It's a free country. See you later, guys. Peace.